science is there to explain why we see the things in evidence that are happening in our everyday life. If a scientist is telling you this is the best, stop listening to that scientist. They don't know if it's the best. It is their interpretation of evidence that they've seen in a lab, not an application in real life. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining. And this topic uh, is something I'm actually kind of struggling with how to talk about, explain, and kind of break down for you guys because the idea of science is so convoluted and misunderstood that for me to come on here and tell you guys to ignore the science, which is kind of what I want to say, on the surface doesn't make sense. And the nuance of what I want to discuss is going to be kind of challenging. So bear with me while we kind of work through this concept of uh, science isn't what you think it is. And you have a lot more to do with actual science than you may realize. There is uh, a lot to be said for getting information that is not dogmatic and is not intended to have you follow a specific protocol or plan that I came up with that it's some secret sauce that you're only going to get from me. I like to, I pride myself on being a coach who wants to help educate you guys and give you things to think about that may be different than you've heard, that maybe enable you and empower you to experiment on yourself, experiment with your experience Two words are very similar for a reason and help define your context and find the things that are going to work best for you. So please subscribe. Um, I hope this information is empowering and impactful to you. And I try to put stuff out as often as possible. So um, you guys have all the information and insight that could possibly, I hope on some level, help you or someone, you know, um, move forward and, and have success in your journey. So that's that the obligatory call to action to subscribe to the channel. When we talk about science, the term follow the science, we know based on recent experience that science is not the end all be all of knowledge. And unfortunately, standard method of getting information to the masses right now is a lot of doctors, scientists, PhDs, MDs, who have become celebrities because of their credentials and the way that they deliver information. In most cases, I would say that there is a lot of good to be had and there is a lot of bad to be seen in the current environment of social media, the, the mass of information that's out there and where it's all coming from. Individuals who are profiting off of the information that they provide with specific interpretations being sold as the answer to your problems, that's where I have the issue, is a huge problem in the space today. With so many people who are experts in their various fields telling everybody that they have the answer, selling their products, selling their services as the solution to a problem, it creates an environment where the obvious things that are working get looked over. Here's an example. Just look at any biohack. There's tons of science to talk about red light therapy, fasting, um, cold therapy, all these types of things. There are a lot of influencers who swear by these biohacks. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. There's scientific evidence for all these different things. But nobody's selling the things that will work that you should have in place before you start worrying about biohacks. Biohacks are being sold as a quick fix, as do this and it will fix your mitochondria. It will improve autophagy, whatever it may be, and all of your problems will go away. I have this supplement that will fix your mineral deficiencies and all of your issues will go away. The idea that science has taken over as the deciding factor of what we should do in our lives is a problem. The scientific method is based on empirical evidence that starts with what do we observe in the real world? It doesn't start with what does a study tell me I should do? 
That's where you guys need to understand. That's where we all need to understand as a, as a world, global society. That's where we need to understand that the scientists are there to help us explain what we're seeing happen in reality. The scientists are not responsible for telling us what we should do in reality. There is a huge, huge difference. If I see in my life that when I stopped eating vegetables, every aspect of my health improved, then I don't give a crap what any single other person in the world tells me that they find in a study that X, Y, or Z is the way things are. Bull crap. It's not the way things are because that's not my experience. If there's a study that will, that can explain why, when I took vegetables out of my diet, all my chronic issues went away, all my bowel issues went away, all my injuries went away, all my fat came off, all my physical exercise and performance markers improved. I increased my strength. I increased my stamina. I increased the volume that I was able to perform in exercise every week. If there's a study that can explain why those things happened when I did X, Y, or Z, then that is an explanation of what happened. It doesn't change what happened. We have started to put too much weight and emphasis on studies as an explanation of why things are happening in real life instead of looking with our eyeballs at what is actually happening in real life. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube. Go to bodyconfidentbook.com. Does calories in calories out work for weight loss a hundred percent you can find a bazillion studies that explain that it's actually a thing it does happen and it does work in real life looking at beyond the studies and getting stuck in the scientific debate over calories is pointless i don't debate calories anymore i explain it based on my experience. I will not get into a scientific discussion or argument with somebody over the validity of calories because in my experience, in hundreds of people that I've worked with, in my practice, in my program, in the method that I use to help people improve their quality of life, I don't use calories. They are a non-existent factor in my evaluation of someone's nutrition and the things that they need to do for quality of life. I know for a fact, I don't need a study to tell me whether you believe in calories or not, whether I should use calories or whether I shouldn't or whether they're real or whether they're not, because I know they don't play a role in how I help people. It is possible to help people without considering calories. That's what I do. I don't need scientific evidence to prove that. And it's not something I need to argue with anybody because guess what? It's what I'm doing every single day. So this is a little bit of a rant. This is a little bit of a, I want to help everyone wake up a little bit and realize that science is not there to determine what we do. Science is there to explain why we see the things in evidence that are happening in our everyday life. If a scientist is telling you this is the best, stop talking, stop listening to that scientist. They don't know if it's the best. It is their interpretation of evidence that they've seen in a lab, not an application in real life. They don't know your context. It may not be the best for you, where you are, where you've been, or where you're going. Dramatic headlines and things that are drastic or um, extravagant claims of things in thumbnails and articles and social media posts are designed to grab your attention and to get clicks and engagement and to sell product. It's, it's, it's how we get attention. It's what we do as influencers, right? My thumbnails are the same way. The difference is when you get into the actual content, are they telling you as an explanation of how things work or are they telling you the science says this? So that means you should do this. If they're telling you the science says this, so that means you should do this. Take that with a grain of salt. That's great information to have. 
has that been shown to be actually what happens in real life with other people? If they can't show this is what happens in practice, what is the clinical evidence? What is the practical evidence? And guess what, guys? This is where I talk about you're part of the process. You are an experiment every single day you wake up. What have you tried and what has worked for you? The only way to know what's actually good and what's actually the best thing is for you to try yourself. Now, if you want to do something that somebody says, hey, here's something that a study came out that said X, Y, or Z, and you want to try that, then you can verify in real life whether that thing actually is or isn't true for you. That doesn't mean it's going to be true for everybody. It means it's true for you. Now, if we get it's true for you and then uh, 10 million other people try it and it's true for them too, now we can say, hey, this is a thing. We understand why it's happening and it's effective. It's the combination. Is it effective? Do we know what's happening? Is it effective is real world? Do we know why it's happening is the scientific piece that we get stuck on. Right now, the scientific piece is on top. Everybody's focusing on that. We're not focusing on what's actually working. So let's flip that model and start thinking about how is this affecting me? What am I doing every day to get to where I need to go? And how do I evaluate the information to make sure that it's meeting my context and my need and helping me move forward? All right. Hope that illuminates some of you. It, when I started realizing this, it made a big change in how I evaluated information. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. And uh, please subscribe. See you guys another time. Hey there, did you know that I have a free community on Discord? If you go to discord.coachbronson.com, you can join my community, you can meet other people, you can engage in a group of individuals who are all searching for and having success in finding their context and the solutions that will work best for them. Hop yourself in there, discord.coachbronson.com. See you soon.